Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are taking a look at this, which is a Dell Inspiron 15 3501 laptop with the Intel 11th Gen Core i3 11th 15 G4 processor. There are other Tiger Lake and I believe Ice Lake variants of this laptop available as well. And we are starting by removing the base. Uh, this is a Philips O si or zero size screwdriver bit. The two screws in the top corners are larger screws, uh, are retained in the chassis, I believe, whereas the rest are removed. All the screws on this system are exposed and just around the bases. There should be none hidden below any stickers or so on. So we start by just removing all of these from the base. And what we should see is these back corner ones, because they are retained, just lift the corners of the chassis out rather than coming out themselves. And this should make it really easy to get our pry tool in to lift the back panel away. So with those removed, we take our plastic pry tool and what we can see is along the edges here, it is already raised because of these two screws. And we can then hopefully quite easily insert our pry tool, unclip along the back here. And lift slightly. Again, working along the side. Make sure those are fully released by just pulling up and undoing them if they don't come freely. And then just peeling the base of the laptop up and actually that is one of the easiest that I have found to remove. The fact it lifts it up so long as you make sure those are free then makes removing it a really simple task. Once inside the system our first task then is simply to disconnect the battery and to do that we are going to get our fingers in to the side of the white part of the connector here and gently just ease that connector out. This ensures that there is no power going to the system so if we have accidentally left it asleep uh, as opposed to shutting it down before beginning the work, the system is fully off and we are not going to cause any damage. To replace the or clean the fan and cooler, we have the fan held in with two screws. And with those undone, we simply lift it out and slide it out away from the heatsink because this little bit of metal sits underneath it. We can then pull that round and using the little edges of this connector, unplug the fan. If we are just looking to clean the heatsink, we can then access that to do so. Or if we want to clean up the thermal paste on the processor itself, we can simply undo these four screws. and then lift the heatsink off as so. I'm going to clean this up with some IPA and replace it with Arctic Silver just because I've lifted it and want to do that. So I will do that quickly and then we will replace the heatsink.
And with that repasted and cleaned up, we then simply screw back down the cooler, again working diagonally. And then refit our fan, replacing the two screws. and reconnecting the fan itself. Now we are left to reconnect, reconnect the battery by slotting that back in there. And then we need to take the base place that back on and with that lined up we now press along the front to clip this base panel back on and then screw in the back corners And then we can simply press that down and replace the screws into the base of the machine. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. And the like button if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.